Hello everybody and welcome to the new MA Tips video. This is Daniel from MA Tech Support. As you remember, we talked about the timing in the last MA Tips. So we changed our timing for specific cues in our selected sequence or in a different sequence just with the time key. Now let's have a look how we can access the individual timing with the time key. What I did over here, I selected my spots and gave a dimmer value and we have a position. Um, I adjust the value of the position and you know that in the encoder bar you can switch to fade and delay timing to enter a fade and delay time for the position now. But now we want to do that in our command section. So with our keys on the console and you know that the time key was always controlling the queue fade time or the queue delay timing so not the individual timing that has the advantage that you don't set timings per accident um, for your attributes so individual timings so you just enter queue timings for the specific queues of course we have an option to get to the individual timing also via the time key so let's get rid of the Q fade and let's use the MA button together with the time key when you press the MA button hold it and press the time key you can see that we switch to relative fade and delay so fade now and delay and back to the absolute value so that means if we want to change the individual fade time for our position attribute we press MA and time twice and then we can set the individual timing of three seconds for example you can also work directly in the numeric keypad and then we can store it as a queue so we can say store please Let's have a look at our sequence. Over there you can see that we created a queue number six and in the green marker you can see that we entered an individual fade timing. You can see this also when we switch to the fade layer. We can see that three seconds is stored within queue number six. Please keep in mind that we always have to select the feature group where we want to set the individual timing. This also prevents you from yeah, setting individual fade times per accident for a different feature group. If you do not want to use this security, there is an option in the user profiles you can change. Let's have a look at the menu and the settings. And within the user configuration, we find our user profiles. You know something about the user profiles. You have several settings you can use. And if you scroll to the right, you can see the column which says time key target this is per default at q and this is exactly the behavior we discussed so far so with the time key we always get direct access to the q timing for the individual timing we have to use the ma key and the time key if we change this time key target to fixture then you can do both so now you have access to individual timing if you selected a feature group and you press the time key to enter individual fade and delay timing but you also have access to the queue timing if you specified a queue before in the command line so you have those two options time key target queue so only for the queue and you have to use ma plus the time key for individual timing or you select fixtures where you have the time key behavior comparable as before so it controls the queue timing as well as the feature group timing um, dependent on what you selected before 